All right. Good morning to you. It is October the 15th, and today's scripture reading is Matthew chapter 6 and 7. Let's pray together. Our God and King, we love you and we thank you so much for your love for us. We can never deserve it, but Father, by your grace and your mercy, you have uh, loved us and, and allowed us, given us salvation in Jesus' name. So Lord, we praise you today. We ask for your guidance in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so Matthew chapter 6, Jesus went to Nazareth, his own country, where he began to teach in the synagogue. The citizens there were offended at him, saying, Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary? They thought he, they knew him. Uh, they thought they knew who his family was, and they thought they knew where he was from. Uh, but they didn't recognize that he was the Son of God. Their unbelief caused Jesus to only heal a few people there. He called the twelve to, together and sent them out to minister, giving them power over unclean spirits and to heal. So they went out and preached that people should repent. Next, the account of John the Baptist's arrest, imprisonment, and death is explained to us. After that, then the disciples, when the disciples returned to Jesus, they gave account of the things that were done and taught. He took them aside to a deserted place, but the multitudes followed them seeking Jesus. Having compassion on them, he began to teach them. Afterward, he told the disciples to give them something to eat. Uh, he sent them to find out how much food was available, and they came back with five loaves and two fish. He fed the 5,000 and 12, had 12 baskets of leftovers. Immediately after this, Jesus sent the disciples ahead of him over the sea while he went up the mountain to pray. He walked on the water in the middle of the night to the boat where the disciples were. And when they came to a shore, the shore in, in Gennesaret, the people recognized Jesus and ran through the whole surrounding region and began to carry about on beds those who were sick to wherever they heard he was and begged him that they might just touch the hem of his garment and as many as touched him were made well. In chapter 7, some Pharisees from Jerusalem found fault with Jesus' disciples concerning eating with unwashed hands or defiled hands. Jesus called them hypocrites and quoted the prophet Isaiah saying, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. He condemned them for their traditions of men, indicating that he viewed their religious practices and customs as from them and not from God. All too well, he says, you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your tradition. He explained to the crowd, there is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are the things that defile a man. Evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these things come from within and defile a man. Jesus leaves that area and goes to Tyre and Sidon, seeking solitude, but he could not be hidden, the scripture says. People were looking for him everywhere he went. A Syrophoenician woman fell at his feet asking for her daughter to be healed of demon possession. After a brief interaction with her where she expressed her faith, Jesus cast the demon from her daughter even though she wasn't anywhere around him. Now, leaving that area, Jesus went to the Sea of Galilee. A deaf man with a speech impediment was brought to him. When Jesus opened his ears and loosed his tongue, they were astonished beyond measure at him. Okay, so our thought for today is God's power is poured out in proportion to our faith. We should not expect huge miracles in response to a puny faith. God bless you. Have a great day.